Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin. We're gonna be looking at it through the lens of the Euro rather than the US dollar. And the reason for this is because the US dollar has actually lost about some valuation against the Euro over the last few few months. So if you guys like the content and you guys like seeing it, you know, seeing Bitcoin plotted against something other than USD, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we have a lot of unique content here. Also, give the video a thumbs up and check out the Telegram channel in the description below. And let's go ahead and jump in. So one of the things we talked about in the last video was the general market structure, right? But in this one, we're going to talk about something a little bit different. So instead of drawing it from those candles that we, we previously drew from, I just want to draw a line over from, you know, the prior all time high in 2019 and draw it over to the present day. OK, so if we zoom in you can see that on the monthly candles that Bitcoin has gone above where it was in 2019. Now, obviously there's wicks that went well above it. We know the wicks went to around 14K, but the monthly candles were were, were capped at around, uh, just around 10,700, uh, 10, 10,800 or so. And then recently we've actually, we've gone above it. And of course, this does seem fairly bullish because you can see that you know that we have we are closing very bullish candles. Now, the euro tells a slightly different story if you look at the valuation of Bitcoin with respect to the euro, right? So, if we draw if we draw a line from our high in 2019 and we draw it across, you can actually see that we actually haven't really crossed the the prior all time high in terms of monthly closes when you're when you're valuing the bit, uh, the price of Bitcoin against the euro. So you can see that in, in 2019, the candle, uh, you know, the candle body stopped at around 9560. And most recently, it also stopped at around that level, it was around 9600. But really, I mean, this this is essentially the same level. So it does tell a slightly different story. Right, because over here it, it has broken out a significant amount more, right, than it did, than it did over here. But with the euro, we're basically in the same region, right? We're we're in that region. We have not actually broken out to you know to a a, a candle close that is higher, um, that is significantly higher, I should say, that is like a noticeable move above this level yet. So you know, ultimately speaking, you know, Bitcoin. I would like to see Bitcoin break above this. If not, you know, I, I don't want people to get, you know, to get upset if you see if you see Bitcoin go down because it is obviously business as usual. We always have to be prepared, right, for for a move down in the short term. We are we're optimistic about the long term, right? We're very optimistic about the long term. But as we said, you know, this if we if we, you know this region here was like was like the the primary like the kind of like the Goldilocks zone, right? And then you even got a second chance at it. Um, you know, basically down here, like kind of like one of those uh, once in a lifetime opportunities to get back in at that level. Uh, but you still have this region here, right? And if you compare it to the last cycle, you can see that that region lasted a long time before we went into a new speculative bubble. So my guess, right, is that we're going to spend a lot of time kind of in this region on the way up. And remember that we can always see short term speculative bubbles, but I imagine we still will spend a decent amount of time within this regression band before Bitcoin makes a move to say this higher regression band up here, maybe in two or three years. So just remember that everything is not always what it seems. It's not always, uh, you know, just looking at it in terms of USD because, you know, Forex is very important. And, and there's a lot of people in, in the industry that you know, potentially are hesitant to, you know, to to move some of their uh, their money around just because of the fact that the US dollar has has gotten a bit weaker against the euro. And then most people do tend to value their Bitcoin in terms of USD. Uh, so there could be, you know, there could be a lot of people out there kind of waiting for a, a better, um, a better relationship between the USD and the euro. So on the on the macro scale, you know, as we show here, the structure of, of Bitcoin versus the euro is, is still basically where it was in the summer of 2019. And again, that wouldn't necessarily preclude us from seeing a wick up. I mean, we know that wicks can happen and it wouldn't preclude us from breaking above it. You just need to be aware, right, that on the chance that we do come back down and we come back into the regression or even closer to the fair value line, it's not, it's not something that you need to be too concerned about, in my opinion. I mean, it's not financial advice. It's just the fact that 
you know, we're going to be in this accumulation region for likely a long period of time. If you find yourself lucky and we see a short term spec speculative bubble in the short term, right, then I would just take advantage of that because likely we're not going to be going up to, you know, the top of the regression band now at the, at the current prices, which I don't think we're going to get there now. But currently it would correspond to between 46,218 and 67,985. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we're gonna make it there right now. I think we'll probably make it there in, in a few years when it's closer to 100K or so. Uh, but just recognize that we're likely gonna be in this region for a long time. And if Bitcoin does retrace, and I'm not even saying that it will, I, I really, you know, I've been pretty bullish on Bitcoin uh, for several months now, as many of you guys know. We talked about the, you know, the reaccumulation period up here and the fact that we were likely going to be breaking out. It was probably the preamble to the bull market. Many of you guys saw those videos. Um, and so it's certainly possible that Bitcoin does uh, break out into another short term speculative bubble. So we have to be prepared for this if it does. If you want help preparing for it, we do have the premium list. I'll remind you guys, uh, you can you can sign up at into the cryptoverse.com and you get access to a weekly, you know, the, the main flagship thing right is the weekly newsletter with the accompanying video. Um, there's a lot of time that goes into the newsletter. I, you know, I, I, I spend basically the better part of Sunday working on it. Uh, so if you guys uh, want to see, you know, want to see that, make sure you subscribe. You'll get a video to accompany you as well if you prefer the video format. And then also you get access to an alerts channel and a, um, and a dashboard that has the risk levels that we talk about in the weekly reports so that you can access them live. And it helps you to leverage, you know, to, 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 to be more informed about your investments whenever we do go into speculative bubbles so that you can systematically take profits rather than just kind of writing it up and then writing it back down without ever taking profits. So I'll remind you guys again, you can pay with crypto and get a 15% discount for paying for 12 months. And in a few weeks, the prices will be going up s substantially. So if you want to be grandfathered in at the lower price, then you make sure you sign up within the next few weeks because once they go up, um, you know, you're not going to be able to, you know, you're not going to be able to get back in at the current price. So if you get in now, you'll be able to pay that price. You know, I'm not going to raise the prices on you, but new subscribers that will be coming in later, you know, later in the market cycle, will have to pay the higher price. So it's just, it's, it's basically a chance for early supporters to get in at a lower price and, and then find that value. And again, if you guys have questions about it, you can check out the public telegram channel and ask as many questions as you like, and you can figure out if it's the right thing for you or not. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Uh, we're certainly going to continue following. Um, uh, we're certainly going to continue following Bitcoin during the market cycle, following each and every move. So again, make sure you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye.